Hello friend, this is Ryan Hicks of TalkToProfit.com. I want to remind you to go to my website and sign up for my newsletter. It'll give you free information each week. You'll get updated on the videos that I'm putting out, new books that are coming out, freebie offers. I give books away for free and courses and things like that in the newsletter to newsletter subscribers only. I give coaching for free and things like that that are only offered to newsletter subscribers because if I offer it to the general public, I have too many inquiries coming in, and so I want to keep this for a, a small audience that is really interested in what I'm talking about and interested in being blessed and glorifying God with their lives. Today I want to talk to you about the law of attraction, but specifically this one saying that many people have, which is, like attracts like. And they'll say, well, this is what it is in, in science, you know, like attracts like and these things like this. But here's the reality, a magnet, what does... What does a magnet attract? Well, if you put the two same poles, they don't attract each other, they repel. So it's kind of a little misnomer in when people talk, I'm a money magnet, I'm a this magnet, and success magnet, all these things. But magnets repel the same thing, they, that they are the same polarity. So the way to understand it is, and it's a better way than a magnet idea, even though a magnet can be fine because it could be a magnet for money or a magnet for success, that that's what it attracts. That's all right, but the idea that like attracts like is a little kind of a misnomer because it's bigger than that. It's you're sowing a seed that produces a harvest of that result. Whatsoever man soweth, that shall he also reap. But you have to sow a specific seed. Now the seed isn't the result you want. So if you're, if you're wanting success in your business, you're not sowing success, you're sowing a seed that grows up into success. So there is some time delay in, in many cases. But it's more like this. When you vibrate and get yourself in the mindset, the, the frequency of that thing, where that thing exists, the mindset you have to be in to get whatever it is that you're trying to get, then you get it. It's not magic, it's not gonna just come to you. But what will happen is, by being on the frequency, it's like tuning into the radio. You tune into one station, you only get that station. What that station has to offer, that's all you get. You don't get other stations. So where I am locally, I believe it's 101.1, is a classical music station. It's ran by the city of Dallas. When I tune into that, I'm going to get classical music only. Now, if I tune a few points down the dial, I may get rap music, or I may get rock music, or I may get country music, or something else. Or this being Texas, I'm, I'll probably get Spanish music because there's many, many of the stations are Spanish speaking only. But I won't get classical music because I'm not on the right frequency. And being on the right frequency will get me the results I want. And everything that is within the bounds of that frequency is what I'm going to be receiving, what I'm going to be having come my way. So like attracts like is, is all right to understand the concept, but many times people just are only thinking so narrow about the one thing they're trying to attract, and they're missing the fact that when they get in the right frequency, they're thinking positively, they're following Philippians 4.8, they have that positive mindset, they're only looking for good and things that are honest and just and holy. When they get in that mindset, that godly mindset, that right frequency to get the things that they want from the infinite and abundant God and the universe that he's created to give us all things freely, you're not just limited to that one thing you're wanting. You'll have all kinds of other blessings come your way because you're on that frequency. You're only going to get what's in that frequency range. Now, if you're only looking for that one thing that you desire, you may miss all the numerous other blessings that God is giving you in that frequency range that are there and ready for you to take action on, but you don't even see the opportunity because you're so focused on one little thing. You're like attracting this, this same thing, but only it's one little thing or maybe a few things, but you're missing the dozens or hundreds of other opportunities that God is placing before you for you to be blessed. Not only get the thing that you're desiring, but get many other things you didn't even realize you were desiring that God wants to give you abundantly from his, his glorious grace and his marvelous love. You could look at it like a path. You're walking down a path. 
if you choose to switch to another path, maybe the path you're on has a bunch of potholes and it's overgrown with weeds and, and burrs and all kinds of problems. And you switch to another path. It's still going the exact same direction, but this other path is clean and there's butterflies and birds flying around. The sunshine is beautiful and lovely and beautiful scenes. And everywhere on that path is another blessing. Another blessing getting you toward that end thing that you desire. And there's even more beyond that. It's never ending because God's not limited. Don't limit yourself in the law of attraction either. Too many people do this. They, they only they get so narrowly focused, which is good. You need to be narrowly focused. But you need to be narrowly focused on being in the right frequency. Not narrowly focused on a thing. Because that's when you get into the mindset of just trying to consume things and just try to get more things to consume upon your own lust. And you won't get it then because that's not operating in the right vibration. But when you focus just on being the person who would have that thing, who would be that person, who would have that kind of success or have that kind of happiness or have that kind of health or whatever it may be, when you focus on that, you are on the right path. You're in the right frequency that all you can receive is those good things. Because that's all that's on that path. That's all that's on that frequency. Like with the radio illustration. When I'm tuned in to that classical music station, I will not receive any other forms of music. No other genres of music will be on that station. That frequency doesn't have those. What is being sent out through that frequency is always classical music. So if the path you're on, the frequency you're on right now, what you are receiving is bad things, negative things, troubles and trials and awful things all the time, then you need to change your frequency. You need to be honest with yourself. Don't just tell yourself like attracts like when everything that you're attracting in your life is not what you want. Well, it obviously really deep down your heart is what you want because that's what you're attracting. But you need to stop and say, you know what? I haven't been in the right frequency. Because sometimes people will just tell themselves and they'll deny the facts. They, they'll say, well, I can't say I'm not in the right frequency because then I'm getting out of the right vibration. You're not in the right vibration in the first place. If your life is miserable, you're not in the vibration that you want to be in. Something's not aligned. Lying to yourself and telling yourself, well, I'm in the right vibration. I know I am. When you're not and the things you're getting in life are not what you want is delusional and it's not going to help you in the least. And I'm saying that in love. I don't want you to just go around and lie to you because too many people go through life lying to themselves, telling them, well, I'm, I'm a good person. I'm thinking good things. I'm positive. Meanwhile, they're constantly thinking negative things. And you may say, but I'm not thinking negative things about my life. Well, what about other people? Are you going around judging them and thinking negative about them? And because Jesus said, with what judgment you judge, you shall be judged. You're not in the right vibration if you're going around judging everyone and thinking, well, why is that person doing that? Oh, that person's ugly. Oh, that person's this and that person's that. It's none of your business what other people are. Unless it's affecting you and your family and other people, if they're just being themselves, it's none of your business to go around judging them. You don't know what's going on. And oftentimes you can misread a situation. And when you think something negative is going on, you might be misreading it completely. That could be one way that you're, you've gotten yourself off of the right path, out of the right frequency. And that's why you're not getting the things you want. Now I'm saying this to encourage you, recognize it, be honest enough to admit it. That's a big thing because people, people act like it's magic. Like, well, if I say that, then I'm, I'm undoing. All. No, you're not. Your negative words do not have that much power to undo all of your good work. If you're just being honest with yourself, dealing with the situation and then moving on. Now, yes, if you're going to focus on that and just ruminate over it and think about it and fret and go to sleep every night anxious. About it. No, of course, that's going to destroy everything that you've been working for, all the good that you've been working for. But if you real quickly recognize it, say, well, I need to get rid of that. And you cast that care upon the Lord because he cares for you. And then you move on. You don't deal, you don't mention it anymore. You don't have to deal with it anymore. You've given it to God. It is dealt with. And now if you ever recognize it popping up again, you see somebody do something, you start, uh -uh. you catch yourself. I'm not judging them. God bless them. They're probably doing their best. And you 
praise God for them and you bless them and you pray a prayer in your mind. I'm not talking about you don't yell out loud. Just in your mind, you say, you know what? God bless them. God give them favor and grace and peace and mercy. And you bless and not curse. Because you can't expect to receive blessings in life when you're going around cursing others. And that includes yourself too. If, if you're doing that to yourself and beating yourself up and things aren't going right, and well, I'm not in the right frequency and you're, I'm so dumb and I'm this and I'm that and I'm awful. Don't do any of that. That doesn't help you one bit. It may make you feel great to, to flagellate self and hurt yourself and like, like you're punishing yourself. It doesn't do any good at all. It doesn't help anyone in the world. God doesn't ask you to do that. God's very merciful and compassionate. God is love. Recognize that. Get on the right path. Get in the right frequency, the right vibration to receive the things that you want. Now, here's one caveat, though. Because we live in a universe where there is time, you will have a time delay. You go out and plant a seed. You don't go out the next day and get start harvesting apples. They're not there. It may take a while. Now, I'm not telling you to to just expect to, it to take years and years and years. But don't get your hopes dashed because you didn't receive what you wanted the next day. But you are at the point where you believe that what you said has come to pass and then you'll have it. So you've spoken this and you believed it. Even when there's no tangible evidence in the physical reality, you've believed you've received, you shall have it. That's what Jesus promised. That's Mark 11:23. 23. Your faith is in God. You believed you received what you said, you shall have it. End of story. And that's the vibration you need to be in. One of full faith and confidence in God. And then it's all on him. This isn't a challenge to God. This is you taking the burden and the care that's doing you no good and giving it over to him. Saying, God, I've done what your word says. I believe it. I thank you for it. I thank you for it. And that's where you operate from, from the state of gratitude, gratefulness, thankfulness, and you will have those things. It's that simple. So my friend, I want to help you with this even more. If maybe some of the stuff's new to you, you don't really understand it all, or you've been taught contrary ideas, I want you to get my book, Co-Creators with God. It will be an absolute blessing for you. I put the link in the description below. You can get it from my website, taughttoprofit.com. It will absolutely help you and revolutionize your life with God, walking with him, having more trust and faith in him. Because many people are trying to do it on their own only, and they don't even recognize it. They call it faith, but they're really trying to do it on their own. And I want to teach you how to be a co-creator with God, not by yourself, with God. He is the power, he is the almighty, and he will bless you and wants to work with you to bring about the greatest results in your life. My friend, I pray this is a blessing for you. May God bless you richly.